I'm here at Ultimate Music today. I'm going to do a review of Atlantis for the uh, Intellivision. We got it here in the Intellivision. This is a great game. The problem with a lot of these style games goes back to, you know, the disc controller. Which I'm not going to badmouth too bad. Because it's no worse or no better than a D-pad. So you can't blame Nintendo for the modern style controllers. I think it goes all the way back to Intellivision. This is a great game to alleviate that problem. I got a modified Intellivision controller with a Coleco joystick on it. To play this great outstanding game. Which would be a great outstanding game and is if... You could play with the trackball, which would be best, but you can on the Intellivision, only ColecoVision and Atari systems. But it, if you modify your controller with a ColecoVision joystick, this game will play great um, than just a standard disc or an awful D-pad or, you know, the regular Intellivision controller. All right, so we're going to start the gameplay here. We're going to play this great game, Buy Magic 1982, and we're going to get going here. Um, basically, the fabled underwater city of Atlantis is under fire in this deep, beautifully rendered shooter with outstanding visuals. We are protecting the underwater city of Atlantis. And first, you gotta pretty much choose uh, the level that you want to start and then start the disc. You got three weapons, and your bottom right fires uh, the right, and the top the left. The crosshairs right there, so that you shoot the right. Goes in horizontal lines. This is an outstanding shooter, and it works great if you have a joystick control. To sort of get the crosshairs just right to take out these aliens. Now, if you hit your bottom button on the keypad, you got your third defense here. You want to save all the sectors of underwater Atlantis. And you got a certain amount of time before it runs out of power. So you're going to want to, you see the number counting down right here. So you want to go back and refuel on the base before you run out. Okay, so I'm watching that as I shoot this. And the transition from day to afternoon to night is just outstanding. So I'm going to go back. See, I waited too long. All right. That was not good. So now I'm going to have to wait a whole other day to get uh, cross, middle crossfires. So you use your top button and you aim. It works great with a uh, modified Intellivision controller with a Coleco joystick. You can take out the enemies and move really nice. Top button left, right button right. This is much better than the uh, Atari 2600 version. And the gameplay will be spectacular if you have a joystick uh, modification for your uh, Intellivision controller. Uh, D-pad doesn't work. All these older games just don't work on the newer systems because the controls are just horrendously awful, just like they were with the Intellivision original controller. This is really nice how the spotlights illuminate the night sky where you can see the enemies when they get into the light. It gives a real realistic effect. Um, this, is, this is a very difficult part to play. Used to be a little better than this part. You want to sort of focus on like one side or another so you can kind of plan strategically how to take them out. I'm going to go here and weigh the explosions. They're really nice. This is an outstanding. The magic game. 
and it works great if you have a modified ColecoVision or a joystick and television controller, which would have to be modified because they didn't make those. This is an equal, you know, the original television controller is equally as bad as any D-pad that's out today. So, we're at night, as you can definitely tell, we're in the night sky. You're trying to survive the most number of days without the city of Atlantis, its fortresses being destroyed. Protecting the Dome City, the Imperial Palace. Now we're on day two. And you see I got, I can go to the center now. I've got a little, now I want to try to not let it run out. Because this is the best way to, to get them is with the center gun. And you push your button on your keypad to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to use the crosshairs. I don't want to totally lose the center gun. This is an outstanding game. Um, a nice modified Intellivision controller with a joystick, which you can do on the Intellivision controller, but not on a D-pad. And you want to make sure you, you know, like the top button is left. And the right button is right. Your bottom button. Left, top, right, bottom. Wherever the crossfire goes, explodes. Uh, this is a great game for your Intellivision. Um, if you're going to play this game, you want to have uh, at least some kind of joystick uh, control to play the game. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. This is Ultimate Music in Winchester, Virginia.